Um, let's start with uh, Jasir. I really love your character that you play. He kind of reminds me of like a Christmas James Bond in some ways. And I'm curious how much of him, how much of yourself you brought to that character? Uh, I feel like I really poured my all into it. You know, after seeing like all these big movie stars and how well they're doing and what they're doing for the crew, I felt like, you know, I would really have to step up my game. What were some of your strategies in stepping up your game? I love that. <laughs> um, you know, having my acting coach help me out and, you know, getting a better understanding. Yeah, I love that. Um, for you, Tyrese, your character has to kind of walk a fine line of being a good partner to the mother but not upset, uh, not upsetting the apple cart. And I'm curious how you approached walking that line, maybe even as it relates to joining a franchise in the middle of the series. You know, honestly, man, I, I just operate from a place of gratitude, you know. Um, they could have called anybody for this role and opportunity. So when I showed up, I was just so grateful to be there. It's my first Netflix movie. And um, I'm like, you know, uh, this is, let me see. Yeah, this is sequel or franchise number four for me. Which yeah, I can't believe, you know, Morbius, Fast, Transformers, and now this. Even though I wasn't a part of part one of Christmas Chronicles, I also wasn't a part of Fast One. So hopefully we can do this for many years to come. I'm not interested in being a part of 20 franchises, but I, I, I do appreciate <laughs> I do appreciate the energy of this one having nothing to do with anything else that I've done. So it's uh, I'm very grateful. And I love Kurt. You know, the director was great. And this guy right here, this young king in this sweater right here was a, a real inspiration to work with, man. I hope my 11-year-old one day will come close to measuring up to his talent. <laughs> Thank you. High sure. praise for the young king. Uh, Jasir, are there any franchises you would love to be a part of? Definitely a Marvel movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just like my go-to. Um, but yeah, I would love to be in a Marvel movie. Who would you love to play? I don't know. See, a kid with superpowers, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Kid Flash in a way. I would like to have superpowers, superpowers to do like some special effects, but probably the young Black Panther. I think that's a great call. Um, final question for the both of you. There's this really lovely moment the two of you have where you do this cool trademark handshake with each other. And I'm curious what the process was choreographing that, rehearsing that, doing that on set. How did that come to be? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather Jazir tell the story. Well, <laughs> it's really crazy, to be honest. Uh, you know, I was just coming out of my trailer to go to set, and he was coming out of his trailer, too. And we both saw each other. This is actually my first time meeting Mr. Gibson. So when I saw him, I was really excited, but I was, like, kind of nervous at the same time. And he just, just – and, like, you know, we talked, and he was like, we should make a handshake. And, you know, I was just down to do it. And we made it, and I never really expected it to come this far. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, awesome. Yeah. yeah, we made it up. We made it smooth. The director was like, oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> and, you know, it just it, handshakes and kind of having those little moments like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? And just whatever. It's just... It just says like, well, y'all wouldn't have that if y'all wasn't actually close. So beyond I'm playing the role of a father and he's playing the role of a son, I wanted people to know that we really, we really do this thing. 